Air Force one, but That's that one great. I think was already done. No, these are awesome. So How do we get them? They'll we'll be toys. Them. You'll be able to purchase them. Purchase? Yeah, or, I mean, I can send them purchase. to you, but they'll be like in the, ter- in the toy store. What are you talking about, Jeremy? Uh, come on, you know what I mean. Man. You know what I mean. Look at that one. The Mark One's awesome. It's pretty great. Very cool. That's the best monger. Yeah, isn't that awesome? It's sick. That's the best toy yet. How do you feel about that, Manny? Yeah, that's better. Just generally, I guess. Maybe it'll... Okay. I don't know. That's not really worth chasing, really. Okay. Well, it's just this one shot. Yeah. Let's... Can we see just... What is it about the color that seems a little... um, I'll See the blue on the left there? That, maybe we can use that as a guide to try to swing it. Okay. Away from that. All right. Let's it's hard to really read it on the, on the glass. This is also, the, you see how I'm swinging it away from the red and the skin? Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Okay, great. That's kind of where I wanted to go. Let's try It's a very interesting time now, and I remember this on other movies, and boy, you don't know what's going to happen. This could be anything from a flop to a, a, a moderate single, you know, where you get on base and just keep plugging along in your career to something that, you know, where, where it's beyond what people's expectations are. I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm sort of the worst person to handicap that kind of thing right now. I'm in the worst, worst seat in the house. I'm, I'm, right in the, I'm right in the thick of things. I don't know where we are. Can you click it up maybe a hair? Yeah. Right now I'm worried about the minutia. Right now there's still shots from ILM. We're waiting to get back. I don't know if that space battle is going to pay off. You know, I'm still in the sound mix, the DI. We're still making picture changes. That's just the nature of things. You know, this non-linear style of post-production, it used to be you would lock a movie, you'd do the music, and then you'd sit back and mix at this point. Well, we're still making picture changes. Ramin's still composing score cues for us if it doesn't quite fit. We're dancing as fast as we can. And, and then I'm going to be promoting the thing all around the world. I don't mind it, though. Hey, I think if it was just totally up, it would be like less saturated posters. back there. Looks like a Star Wars poster. This is a bit of a fever pitch. We're getting all the shots in. We're trying to finish them up. All the work of you know two years is all paying off now. We've showed it to some people. We've shown like an unfinished version to like Paramount Foreign Distributors. They laugh. They like it. We've shown scenes at Comic-Con, WonderCon. They all like it. I've shown friends. But this is a Marvel movie. We don't test these movies. So I don't know. They don't want it getting out on the internet. It's a very secret process. So. I, I really don't know how people are going to react to this thing. I know the people close to me seem to like it. Uh, I know that there's funny scenes, that are scenes with a lot of heart. There's a lot of truth in it. I love the performances. I love the cast. I think the suit worked out really well. I think ILM did a spectacular job. The score sounds good to me, and certainly the, the sound effects sound great. So I don't know. Your services are no longer required. That what a waste sounds. is a fucking waste. Well, all those three lines, are they complimentary is the big question. Um, I don't think so. Well, they've got to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. assuming, assuming we could get it to sound, it sound the same. Good. Your service is... Okay, because you the have... The whole thing about him pointing the gun, it, the, the, a line over pointing the gun explains why he's not smoking her, right? That's the whole thing. That's the idea. Right. Yeah. So, so your services are no longer required. I would push over that. I know we had it there once before. Mm-hmm. I would say what I would get what a waste out of there. Okay. And I would just start duplicate your thing down here. Sure. Okay. Where are you working? ADR work big? Yeah. Okay. So right here. <laughs> you f- <laughs> <laughs> he hates when directors point at the screen during photo watch. <laughs> I do it all the time now. Services are no longer required. Okay, so we're talking about moving ah! yeah. right here sure, and so getting, getting rid of what a waste. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like right and then well. gonna, Oh, you're you're I'll using mixed downs? Yes, we'll just right. They'll be just in the dialogue tracks too. That's <laughs> even worse. <laughs> <laughs> if a snap. director snaps, he loses his fingers. These are the cuts. <laughs> this is how they know it cut. You have the rhythm of the cut. There's just it'll just be like. Ah! Your services are no longer required. Yay! The other thing I think we put in is a, a pepper pots before your services are no longer required to bridge that cut. Pepper pots. Pepper pots. You could tell me that this thing barely made its money back in its theatrical release, I would believe you, or that it, it blew up and I would believe that too. I know there's a lot of big movies coming out this summer and they look good. 
as the head of uh, Sony Distribution told me last time around, he says, there's only so many seats in the bus, you know, and, and uh, you know, you got about three or four movies get to be a hit in either a holiday season or a summer season, and you're either in it or you're not. Pepper Pot. <laughs> Pepper Pot. Pepper Pot. Your services are no longer required. Pepper Potts. Come on, Jeremy, you said that was a good one. Pepper Potts. That was the studio select. That was the one that came with the line, uh, Pepper Potts, I have the feeling you're, you're trying to avoid me. So beautiful, what a waste. I know that I'm proud of it. I know that we've done everything we can. I know that we're, we're hitting some sort of note because we're getting feedback. After Comic-Con, we showed the footage, people got on board and got excited about it. And now it's being spoken of in the same breath as like Batman and Indiana Jones. I mean, we weren't part of that conversation when we started out off. We were like an unknown quantity. It built from like a, a small little grassroots thing into something where people are anticipating it. So I know the awareness is there, which is something I didn't have on Zathura, the last film I worked on. So it feels different than that. As our first film out of the gate, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be more proud of the uh, of the film that we've put together, of the team that we've put together, of the cast that we've put together, and of, uh, and of John. It feels very, very good to have this kind of buzz on a character that outside of the hardcore Marvel fans, most people didn't know a year ago. Most people go, well, oh, is he the guy in the metal and the suit and with the goatee? Maybe people knew. And now the name Tony Stark is as famous as the name Iron Man. Uh, it feels exciting. It feels like people are ready to go out there and, uh, and start the summer off with, uh, with our film, which is going to deliver. With the first one out, people seem to be you know, ready for the thing. Let's see if uh, that internet buzz translates to a larger buzz uh, and, and, and an anticipation with, with the with the general audience, but I do feel confident going in, and I get the, the suspicion that I'll be doing more of these, and you know, it could potentially change the, you know, the, the nature of, of my whole life and my whole career. I'm in, I'm in great company, and I've never had it so good. Is it cool to be directing a movie, like it's, a comic book movie? It's awesome, man. I grew up reading this thing, and now here I'm making this movie.